اليوم أحل لكم الطيبات وطعام الذين أوتوا الكتاب حل لكم وطعامكم حل لهم والمحصنات من المؤمنات والمحصنات من الذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبلكم إذا آتيتموهن محصنين غير مسافحين ولا متخذي أخدان ومن يكفر بالإيمان فقد حبط عمله وهو في الآخرة من الخاسرين يا فاغسلوا وجوهكم وأيديكم إلى المرافق وامسحوا برؤوسكم وأرجلكم إلى الكعبين وإن كنتم جنبا فاطهروا وإن كنتم مرضى سفر أو جاء أحد منكم من الغائط أو لامستم أو لامستم النساء فلم تجدوا ماء فتيمموا فتيمموا صعيدا طيبا فامسحوا بوجوهكم وأيديكم منه ما يريد الله ليجعل عليكم من حرج ولكن يريد ليطهركم وليتم نعمته عليكم ما يريد الله ليجعل عليكم من حرج ولكن يريد ليطهركم وليتم نعمته عليكم لعلكم تشكرون إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته in this surah, Surah Al-Ba'idah, titled The Feast, one of the ayat I recited is referring to wudu, wudu or ablution, which is a condition for the salah, meaning you cannot pray unless you have wudu. I'm sure you all know that. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us the steps how to make wudu. He said, فَاغْسِلُوا وُجُوهَكُمْ وَأَيْدِيَكُمْ إِلَى الْمَرَافِ Wash your face and your hands from the tip of your finger to the elbow. وَامْسَحُوا بِرُؤُوسِكُمْ وَأَرْجُلَكُمْ and your feet, wash them, إِلَى الْكَعْبَيْنِ until the ankles. Face includes the nose and the mouth. How do you know that? How Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did it. We pray the way Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam showed us. He said, Sallu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. Pray like you have seen me pray. Head, when you wipe your head, 
that includes the ears. The ears are part of your head, so you wipe your hair and your ears. And then the feet until the ankles. So this is clear. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's message of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us something special about the wudu. He said it erases your sins. Actually, it washes away your sins. When you wash your hands, all the sins that committed with your hand will wash off, will be immediately erased with the last drop of water. The same thing with your mouth. And of course, you have the tongue there, so you know how many sins you commit by your tongue and the nose and the face which means your eyes are in it and you know how much sins you commit with your eyes and then all of your hand and then your head and you know how many bad ideas and thoughts you have and your ears and I'm sure you know but you listen with your ears, you're accounted for it. So when you wipe, it erases that. And your feet, the one that takes you anywhere you want to make a sin. So the Prophet wasallam wants you to take care of the wudu really good. When you're making a wudu, remember that the best you do it, the more good you do it, the more it erases your sins perfectly. You don't want to rush it. You want to make sure all the sins that committed by your hand and your face and your tongue and your feet and everything is gone. You want to make sure that everything is washed away. And that is why special people who take care of that. It's not like you go and you splash water on yourself. It is rather you are thinking of removing your sins so you take your time. And this is how you get the reward for the sunnah. You are thinking about what you're doing. It's not just a habit that you do it. And it should make you feel good that your sins are washed away. Also, the Prophet wasallam told us that people who make wudu all the time, in fact, Bilal radiallahu an, this is the mu'addin of the Prophet wasallam. Prophet Muhammad wasallam told him, I heard your footsteps ahead of me in Jannah. What do you do? You know what he told him? He said, I don't sit an hour without wudu. That means he's always pure and clean and ready. And that's a specialty Muslims have. Cleanliness and purity all the time. Especially when you want to the salah. So you stay always on the state of wudu. Never use the bathroom and come out without wudu. Never leave your house without wudu. Never hear someone saying, hey, it's time to pray, you wanna pray? And you say, oh yeah, let me go make wudu. Never travel without wudu. Always be in the state ready to pray, ready to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that shows how important Salah in your eyes is. And if Salah is important in your life, everything in your life will go perfect, inshallah. Because if you fix the Salah, everything in your life will be fixed. Because you are connected with the one who fixes everything. You don't rush the Salah because you have a need. Remember, you are standing before the one who accomplishes your need, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you finish the salah and you run, you run where? To do something only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do. Well, you're standing before Him. Don't rush it. You will get it, inshallah, even better. So I don't want to see any of you 
always, always be have wudu. You go to the bathroom and you wash your hands, what's left? It's so easy to take care of the wudu. You feel good. Anytime you have the wudu, you grab the mushaf and you start reading Quran. Any, can you imagine if you die? You die pure, ready for salah. Do you know that shaitan will not dare to get near you if you have wudu? When you go to sleep, you sleep on wudu. MashaAllah, if you have a dream, a good dream, it will be, inshaAllah, a real thing. So I want you to always take care of the wudu, not only because it is so rewarding in itself, it erases your sins. Can you imagine how many times you use the bathroom? That means how many times you're gonna make wudu? Every time you make wudu, you wash your sins. You're sinless. If you really take care of wudu that many times, you're sinless. You are wonderful. You are clean. You are ready to go to heaven. So think of that.